name of Jesus the Christ spirit of revelation come upon me spirit of wisdom come upon me spirit of understanding come upon me spirit of knowledge come upon me spirit of faith come upon me spirit of might come upon me spirit of immortality come upon me Rahia, Rahia. Eleva Shatia Rahia Lahia Eleva Shatia In corruption Immortality Sonship In corruption Immortality Sonship Glory Light Fire Fire Shahilo, divine health, healing, miracles, signs and wonders. Lahila, heaven on earth, heaven on earth, the kingdom of God has come. The kingdom has come. Lila, the life of God has come. The will of God has prevailed. The will of God has prevailed. The will of God has prevailed. Shahilo, Elavanda Katana, Elavaha Koradiana, Elmato Shazia, Ekabaraja, Ekabaraja, Ekabaraja. Shahilo! You people don't even know that, that everything you need is in Zion. For ye are come to man, not that you will, for you are come to man Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, surrounded by numerous what? Angels. It is there. You are calm. But religion has blinded our minds. Oh, pray, just pray, have faith. No, sir, there is a traveling. There is an ascension needed to get to Mount Zion. There is an appearance needed. And the heavenly doctors, heavenly angels, heavenly doctors, heavenly doctors, heavenly nurses will take you. And they put some, because God created the human body. You didn't hear me. No man can create the human body. Show me where, show me which factories in the world today that produces kidneys. All they do is to, they hijack. Oh, I think that was sometime next, last year or this year, I traveled into heavens. You know, I, the moment that I laid down on my bed, I was summoned. I found myself in a, a very, very different place. As I stood in that ground, it, it was a, a a horizontal flat level ground immediately heaven opened i saw a white a white wind like dark not not black but grayish you know this dark grayish kind of but it, it's like this white wind like it descended from heaven and then a voice said enter I entered it, boom, within a speed of light. I was tra transported, teleported into a beautiful hospital. When I got there, I, re I was received by angels. Then I let down and then they put infusion here and there. Oh, hallelujah. And I was there. Uh, my body was restored. And whatever they healed, I didn't know what it was. They, they just did whatever they did and I was done and then I stood up I entered back and back to my body I said thank you Lord you are the Lord that he led me you are the Lord my healer you sent your word and heal my disease oh you are the Lord 
my healer. Perfect day, Papa and Mama, and perfect day, sons of God. My name is Umbi Letsikatoli. I had problems with my eyes, but the left eye was totally damaged, but the other eye was still okay. But all of a sudden, I couldn't see with my right eye. I was struck and I could see only things that were close by to me. I couldn't recognize people's faces. I was really struggling. And then the doctors gave me a date of the 22nd of September. I firstly came to Papa, who gave me a go ahead to go and do the operation. I explained everything to him. He said he's gonna be there with me. Then I went to the to the hospital in Clermont. I was ushered inside the, the theater room. The doctor covered my my covered my left eye and then he looked, he was on the only one that was open was my right eye. I was looking. He said I must look on top, there were lights there. Then whilst I was sleeping on the lying on the bed, I looked up on, on the roof, I saw those lights. Then I could see that I could hear them arguing with the sister that uh, was asking some questions from the sister. I panicked and then I Baba said, Pastor John. Pastor John, Pastor John, where are you now? The daughter is about to start the operation. Immediately, man, after that, I could feel the presence of Papa. Could feel, in fact, the presence of the Holy Spirit. I looked up and I saw this creature that was so huge on, on, on top of me. And then I looked, I, I looked thoroughly on the face and I recognized the face, that was Papa's face, man. But the body and all was so big and I was so happy to see that. Immediately that, what happened was, I don't know, he, that creature jumped into the doctor's body and then I started to smile because I was praying all along before this happened. So it, and immediately after he jumped inside the body's, I'm sorry, the, the, the doctor's body, the daughter said, one minute left. All this while he was quiet, but immediately that preacher entered him. He said, one minute left. Oh, I smiled. After that, he removed the cover and said to me, everything is perfect. Then I was ushered to the waiting room. I said, because my blood pressure was very high, but within 30 minutes, it was back to normal. I went to him, he said he would like to see me the following day. The following day, I went to him again. He was so surprised. He looked at me and said to me, why were you laughing when I was doing the operation? I said, because my pastor was there with me. That's why I was smiling. I saw the presence of God when I was, when you were doing the operation. And he said, you, I struggled because the cattle did not want to come out. I struggled, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when you started smiling, that's when the cattle came out. I said, that was my pastor. He was there with me, I was smiling. He was also laughing. He said, you, you, do you pray? You pray too much, you know? I said, I pray always, doctor. You are supposed to do the same thing, especially when you are operating people, you must start with prayers. And then after that, I left, but I was so happy. But he was so happy also. He said that what happened to me has never happened.